Hi guys, so welcome to this second part. Uh, this second part is going to be about these two sets of notebooks from the 2017 uh, new collection from Rossi 1931, an Italian um, fine stationery maker. And on the right you can see a, the marble uh, collection and this I reviewed in the first part. So uh, you will see below, um, in the box below, the link to the first part if you want to see this. Also, I will be doing a giveaway uh, for this set and this set. And I cannot remember what I decided. Yes, is that one from this set and one from this set for France and one from this and one from this for uh, the rest of the world. So um, if you want to get one of these uh, notebooks and notepads, then uh, I will tell you at the end of the video how you can do that. So, with no further ado, let's start with the fish collection. Okay, and that's kind of funny because um, I hate fish. I am absolutely frightened of fish. I, um, Recently, I tried to convince myself that this fear was over and I tried to step in a, a fish shop because we have fish shops here near the sea and I just couldn't enter. I mean, the smell came to my nose and then I almost collapsed. So I'm really afraid of, sh of fish. It was very funny when I received this because I did not expect this. But I must say, this collection looks at, actually looks quite nice. And they have a collection of old designs like this one in another collection that I'm going to show you. And they have spiders and bugs and fish already. And yeah, spider. That's the spider collection. But these notebooks look good. They look good. And I mean, I hate fish, but these, they look good. And also what's special about these collections is that when I received them, um, I got the um, the uh, uh, notebooks, like that's the one I'm using, uh, this one, and this one was made of a nickel friendly paper that is made, well, uh, well I will explain later, but also this one was made from a nickel paper which was made out of kiwi beads. And that's kind of original. And so when I received this one, I immediately saw the paper was kind of the same as this previous collection. And was that right? Boy, it's made, so that's all explained in the catalog. And so here you can see the whole fish, weird fish collection. And so this paper is uh, Shiro Alga. It's an Italian paper. They said that's made from algae. Uh, and that algae, would clog up fragile marine areas, so it's taken from a sea where it's um, it's bad to keep it, and then it's combined with pulp, paper pulp, well wood pulp, and then they make this very nice paper. So you can see spots in it, very very small spots, but it's very nice looking cardboard paper. This, okay, and so we've got. Uh, two um, A6 notepads, vertical notepads. We've got a an A5 horizontal stitched notebook, so that's kind of new as well. Yeah. And we've got an horizontal A5 notepad, right, like this. Right, so let's have a look inside. Let's have a look at each of them one by one, and then we'll move on to the. Uh, where I can never remember the name of the musician Mascagni uh, collection. Right, so there is a, an absolutely horrible fish on this and that fish is called a Rasa fish. And this is made on an antique press and the uh, illustration is a natural uh, history illustration from the 18th century. And despite the fact that I'm afraid of fish, it does look nice and you've got gold foil inside. Right. Uh, this one is of a John Dory fish. Again, an illustration from a natural history book probably from the 18th century. And a lot of hot foil in this one. 
Right, this one I think is the same as this one. Yes, that's the same rasa fish. And then this kind of funky one is a scorpion fish. Yeah, I knew this one. Scorpion fish. Right. And um, maybe you think that the color is gray or it's white, but it's not. It's actually um, uh, textured. It's got little grain in it, probably from the algae. And it's off-white. I would say it's off-white. And uh, as well as the paper inside, it's not a white. It's a bit off-white. Let me show you white next to it. Well, the catalog is white, so you will see the difference. Right. And the barking thing is my dog again. How come you managed to get outside and now we cannot get inside? So, here is what I wrote. This one is um, my Pilot Prara Fish Letter Press made on an antique printing press. And I tried my Kaigalu with O'Daniel Diamine. And um, there was absolutely no issue with the Pilot Prara, which lays less ink on the paper. Uh, as you can see, there's no issue there. And there was, but it's very very hard to see and my camera is not taking it but there is a very light feathering issue uh, with the Kaigalu right? again as with the other one absolutely no bleed through I have never seen bleed through on any of our notebooks so they are perfectly fountain pen friendly and um, the paper has enough grain to it that you can use it for sketching and drawing with a pencil. It's actually quite nice in that regard. Uh, this one has a lot more tooth in it than the this one, I think. It's not as smooth and snow, it's not as easy to write on it with a fountain pen because it's going to scratch a little. But it's actually nice anyways. Alright, so that's what I mentioned. Absolutely no breathe through. Okay, there's one thing in particular that I wanted to show you. This is um, this is not that color. This is uh, Rouge Carrobier by Girbin. It did perfectly well. There was this little issue of feathering on this one, and you can actually see it on the D. But what I noticed as well, so this I cannot remember the name of, but it's an ink that lays a red with a little uh, side of a darker side, and it the color came out perfect on this paper. So this then is a diamine blue black. Uh, the black comes out stronger on that paper than the blue. And then uh, there was again the Girbin Rouge Carroubier and then I splashed it. That was totally my fault, but there was the issue of feathering on this one. Okay, perfect for pencil. Yeah. As you can see, you can see there is a grain, right? It's a archival paper, it's acid free, fully biocredible, recyclable, and it's perfect with everything you throw at it, basically. The only issue I found with this paper uh, would be um, the the grain. It's a bit strong for a fountain pen. You will not find it smooth uh, to write on the pa um, with it uh, to write on it with a fountain pen. You will not. Right. So let's put it aside. So this one is the equivalent of a small one. It's just a A5 size. And then this one is a stitched notebook. And it's my favorite in the, the pack of four. So you've got a small index with shellfish. And it's all, I suppose, printed with the letterpress, antique letterpress. This one would actually, with this A5 disposition, horizontal disposition, be absolutely perfect for sketching. For me, in my opinion, that would be the use I put that to uh, sketching. Like... And um, as you can see, it stays flat. So for a stitch notebook of that in that direction, that's actually very nice. And then at the end, you've got a week page, Monday, Tuesday, etc. 
definitely my favorite of the um, of this pack of notebooks right so uh, let's move on to the other one which is uh, not this one not this one not this one I uh, nope not this one yeah, that's the one it's a limited edition and in my opinion a beautiful choice so here we've got a small a6 notepad an a5 vertical notepad and a regular uh, notebook I right, like the cahier size in the A5 size and the stitched one. So let's start with a small one. The cardboard, exactly in the same way as the fish collection or the um, previous ones that I reviewed, is a cardboard made of um, wood pulp and cherry bits. It's like they, uh, they take uh, leftovers from cherry. What do they say exactly? Cherry, cherry. Residues of organic products of cherry. And so it's incorporated in the pulp and gives you that result, which is very nice. The color is a very soft burgundy. And it's got uh, gold foil Im imprints embossing of probably an extract from that composer. And on the other side, it says Pietro Mascani, 1863-1945, with a signature. It was an opera composer, orchestra conductor, first music composer for the cinema. All right. And so inside, and it's a case in all these uh, limited edition notebooks, you've got the picture of the composer, a little biography, and again, the hot foils, which is a very fine detail. And it shows the kind of attitude Rossi has towards the notebooks. It's like every detail counts. So I really like that in notebooks. And so at the end, you've got a page with composing lines and a signature. Okay? Right, so inside uh, of that spiral notebook, and um, it's either the stitched one or the two spiral notebooks. You've got the three uh, notebooks and notepads that compose the limited edition. It's the uh, only three. Right, the paper is very smooth paper. Uh, less um, uh, adapted to uh, drawing because it's very smooth. If you compare this in this, it's not actually the same. This one's perfect for drawing, and this one is just the perfect, uh, perfect one for um, uh, fountain pen writing. The line uh, I find to be very dark. It's out. It's either black or a very dark blue one. Okay, but it's a very nice little notebook. Right, let's have a look at the uh, bigger notepad. That's the one I made my tests on. Again, you've got this page. Um, the color of the paper is, I think, a bit darker than the one in the previous one. You can see the difference. This one on the right is a bit darker. And if you compare it to a white, here's the difference that you can see in the white. Okay. So again, this one was printed on an antique press. And the covers are made from cherry residue. The grain of the paper is very smooth, and as you can see, there is absolutely no issue, scratching issue. And um, it did perfect with the uh, Rouge Carobier by G. Herbin. I think it renders that ink pretty well. You can see a lot of nuances in the ink. The Diamine Eau de Nil as well. So, this one I would say is just very, um, perfect for fountain pens. If you like special inks, and you like to see nuances in them in the in the bottom, at uh, the top, etc. Then it would be perfect. It did pretty well with the uh, Gerbin Rouge Carrier. On the other side, you see uh, sh um, show through, but actually no bleed through. Even with that very demanding ink from Gerbin, no bleed through at all. Show through, but no bleed through, as usual, with their uh, notebooks. So I think the cardboard is 350 GSM, yes, 350, that's thick, okay, very nice as well. 
and the last one which is my favorite because that's a type of oh, I, I don't use spirals that's the reason why this one is my favorite I'd also like that size A5 small cahier size this really is perfect this is what I use in my uh, notebook covers like you can see in this one you've got that one is a Rossi and that one is a Rossi too and that one I cannot re remember what it is and so this one again uh, the same way except the paper is a bit different in this one again you got the lines and it was very smooth there's um, a bit more grain to this one I have no idea whether it is the same paper but I think it's a bit different so this one uh, would have enough grain to be used for drawing with a paper sketch uh, with a, a pencil and it would be um, absolutely perfect yes with uh, sketching and you can see the stitching inside so it's a black stitching for this one it was a grey one with the other or a creamy one I cannot remember and this one definitely is my favorite of the three uh, but definitely I would not choose I would not choose this one for fountain pens this one these two uh, would be perfect so let me explain how you can discover these notebooks and how I can send them to you Okay, so I will keep that one for myself because that's definitely the, definitely the kind of thing that I would be using and as well as the other stitched one and notepad. Right, so uh, I will be giving away uh, these four um, notepads and notebooks and what I will be uh, doing is I will just put one pack and one pack and this pack, as it is a bit heavier, will be going to France and this one will be going to the rest of the world. So if you want to try the limited edition and this pretty ugly fish, but pretty nice notepad, then uh, you can enter the giveaway uh, by uh, liking the video, uh, the video, sorry, and uh, putting a comment uh, that, uh, mentioning that you want to try these two and what I will do, and that's the reason I am being very careful, and I mentioned that in my uh, other video too, is that you leave a comment and then I will contact you. So I will click on your name and then um, and then uh, try uh, to send you an email, but sometimes for YouTube then I just cannot contact that person. So I will leave a message saying you have 48 hours to send me a message back to, uh, with my email address. And then usually it's enough, but sometimes it isn't, so I just pick someone else and then you would have missed the giveaway. So in case you're not sure that I can directly send you an email, uh, then just leave your email uh, in the message below. And I will try to contact you. I'll try a few times before I uh, switch on to someone else, but it's happened three times already and I had to switch to someone else. But uh, once I manage to get into contact with you, then it does uh, find its way to your home. I can guarantee that to you. Right, so thanks for watching. If you haven't seen the first part about this one, and you can also participate in the giveaway for these two, then uh, please find the link in the box below the video, and you will have the link to get to that video, and that's it. But definitely, uh, Rossi 1931 is something you should consider. If you live in the USA, they have a, a dedicated warehouse in the USA. And I will try to put the link as well uh, below. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time.